everybody, it's me, your old pal Dan Classic, and we're back again with another episode. This week we're taking a look at one of my favorite characters of all time, Destro, and the revival line that thanks to scalpers is harder to find than it is to push water uphill with a rake, G.I. Joe Classified. Anyway, in 1982, G.I. Joe was brought back from oblivion by Hasbro looking to cash in on a line of three and three quarter inch figures like Kenner had been doing for the past few years. G.I. Joe, a real American hero, was a three pronged media campaign, including comic books, a TV series, and most importantly, the toys. By 1983, G.I. Joe was really cooking as some of the most iconic figures ever to be released came out that year, including my favorite figure in the line and the subject of this video, Destro. Destro's file card originally lists his name as unknown. However, a later version of the figure would list his name as James McCullen Destro. So is Destro his last name? Anyway, Mr. Destro's primary military specialty is listed as weapons manufacturer. That's more of a career than a military specialty, but so far the original file card isn't too stupid. The card goes on to describe Mr. Destro as the man in charge of Mars, or Military Armaments Research System, the largest supplier of state-of-the-art weaponry. The version 1 Destro figure is really sweet. He comes with a backpack that carries his futuristic looking pistol. Destro wears an iron mask, which apparently is a family tradition. Thank God this figure was made when they could chrome out things that were supposed to be metal. A couple more figures were released here and there, but by most accounts, the vintage line ended in 1994, and everything else has basically been an attempt to cash in on the nostalgic value of the real American hero line. And those awful movies, but I don't want to talk about those. Finally, cut to 2020, and while the world burned, Hasbro at last came up with the bright idea to market their greatest creation in 6-inch scale, just like the wildly popular Marvel Legends figures. And while fans of the original series were super excited to get their hands on these figures, scalpers, resellers, and general pieces of shit were also ready to exploit them by buying up figures by the armful and reselling them online for a massive profit. Meanwhile, Hasbro did nothing to mitigate this or even acknowledge it was happening. But aside from all the bullshit, the G.I. Joe classified line does have some great looking figures, and Destro is no different. He comes with two guns that can be carried in a Cobra branded briefcase. While not chrome, the head is about as metallic as a figure can get nowadays and looks pretty good. It seems like every time G.I. Joe gets dug up, rehashed, or resurrected, Destro is there in some form or fashion. I can't wait any longer, so let's take a look at some Destro figures. All right, so here is the original Destro from uh, way, way back in the 1980s. Um, this is the first one. Um, this is this is my Destro I've had for many, many years. I picked him up before uh, vintage GI Joes became too expensive. You can still pick him up for pretty much okay prices. Um, he looks great. I love this figure. It was one of my favorite, favorite, favorite figures way back in the day when I was a little kid and um and you know was my favorite gi joe i mean like look at him he's got the chrome head the chromed out head back when you could do a real good chrome job on a uh on a figure and uh, looks great it's got all the posability that you would expect from an old school gi joe all the points of articulation the posability he can do it all also has this backpack inside the backpack you can open it up and he has um, you have the, the molded pieces on the inside of weapons and different things that he can use. Maybe this is a, a this is a, like a salesman's bag. Like he's like, hey, look at all this shit I've got for sale. He's also got this awesome laser gun handgun thing. I don't know. I'm not a fucking gun guy. You tell me. Is this a real gun or is this like you know? 
just some some fucking fantastical shit that they came up with for the uh, you know for for the figure. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if it was because a Destro deals in state of the art weaponry, uh, just like his uh, just like his file card said, uh, Mr. Destro. Um, it deals in in uh, in all sorts of state of the art weaponry, maybe stuff that that, that might be experimental. Um, that we haven't seen yet. Um, that, that's what he does. Very cool looking figure. One of my favorite figures of all time. Just wanted to show you this figure, honestly, um, to kind of get a comparison when we take a look at a couple more of these figures. But that is Destro um, from the original real American Hero line. All right, so moving forward in time to 1993, about 10 years after the original Destro figure comes out, um, the much, uh, much despised uh, G.I. Joe line as the Real American Hero line is struggling to stay alive. Um, finally, we get G.I. Joe, Joe in space. space. Um, Star Brigade. Star Brigade is what it's called, or Armor Tech Star Brigade, a real American hero, G.I. Joe, Robo Armored Warrior, Cobra Tech Arm Launcher Shoots, Destro, Cobra Tech Commander, uh, number five. Um, so we're, we're numbering the figures um, in, in the sea. Warning, contains small parts and horse shit. Um, I mean, you've gotta be able to get them off the fucking tree. The cheap bullshit that Hasbro uh, resorted to at this point in time, um, really, it's just sad. It's sad. I mean, look at this. Look at this pink, this hot pink color. It's just sad looking. It's, it's trying to be new and hip and awesome, um, but really, it's just... Not, let me look at fucking Destro. We're going to see what he looks like outside the box. But let's turn around and, and look at some more of that sh sickening shade of pink. Um, battle Armored Warriors rocket into space with futuristically styled built-in robo armor and spring-fired missile launchers. These high-tech fighters take the battle action into distant galaxies and, and beyond. beyond. And we got the uh, the collect them all across the top here. Of course, there's Robo Joe, Duke, Rock and Roll, Heavy Duty, Despro, Destro, uh, which is which number five, the one we have here, and then the Cobra Bat. Um, I, I almost called him Despro, as in desperate, as Hasbro was desperate to um, to to make some money to squeeze the last bit of juice out of the Real American Hero line. Here's Destro's file card. Um, Destro, well, his file name is Destro, comma, James McCullen. So if it further, you know, just further saying his name, his last name is Destro. <laughs> last name first. James McCullen is his first and middle name. His name is James McCullen Destro. The first. There he is. His primary specialty, cyber tech weapons dealer. Secondary specialty, weapons manufacturing and supply. Birthplace, Calendar, Scotland. We know everything about this guy by now. And without, without all the mystery, is he really all that cool anymore now that he's Mr. Destro? Speaking of mystery, look at that mysterious hawk figure. Um, we don't know what he looks like, but he comes with this electronic robot voice robot thing. Oh my god, these are so fucking whack. Um, but let's get this atrocity out of the box and see what it looks like on the inside. All right, so let's move on to the fucking figure. Um, he's, he's a spaceman, and he's got his space helmet like Buzz Lightyear. Um, it's just a few scant few years before uh, Buzz Lightyear would exist. We've got uh, Destro in, the, uh, in his robotic. He's robotic Destro. Um, pretty, pretty all right. Okay, goddamn. Um, not very poseable. He's very stiff. Um, the points of articulation, he's like a fucking Happy Meal toy. Um, he has this little um, shooty, rooty tooty thing, um, so he can shoot these uh, missiles, I guess. They come on a tree! On a fucking tree. Um, so, 
this is a weapons tree. Um, you would see this later on with toy companies trying to save money um, by instead of, you know, them somebody at the factory doing this for you for the stuff that they came with, they just printed it all out, uh, manufactured it, and, and left the, the rest of the job to you. You finish making the fucking action figure, um, and it comes with all this extra fucking trash. Yay! I love fucking trash. I said sarcastically, um, I'm going to get all this garbage off of this tree because I'm going to need a little pair of scissors or something um, to get it all off. Um, I'm going to do that and then we'll uh, we'll see what happens when, when it's all opened up and separated. Okay, so we've got him all set up. He comes with lots of different weapons. Um, he has this gun. He has this gun. He has um, this gun. And he has a knife. And he has another fucking gun! Um, so lots and lots of accessories. They are fairly cool, I guess. Um, if not to make up for, I don't know if that, that necessarily makes up for the fact that this figure is hardly posable. Um, he barely has the points of articulation, no outside, you know, no, no rotation to, to the outside of the shoulders. You can't spread his wings, if you will. Um, and he does have, it does come with these little uh, missiles or some shit to fucking launch out of the, uh, out of the gun arm, his Mega Man, uh, arm cannon. Um, and you just use this little trigger here and away you go. Um, so that's actually not too bad and it still works. Um, he's kind of cool for the little action figure they do give him. He's not necessarily the worst thing in the world, but he's really a far cry from our original, original Destro. Um, and is kind of when you think about what the character, and you think about the history of the character, and you think about what you might want, and you when you want a goddamn fucking tree, and it's like, look at this trash! Look at this fucking trash that it comes with! Bullshit! Oh my god, but... I guess he's okay. He's fucking robot spaceman Destro. I, I have more action figures that I wanted to show you, but you know what? I figured just cut it down to three. Um, this to, to show you the sort of why. <laughs> like here is a a visual representation of why um, a real American hero line um, was was all done uh, by 1993-1994 um, because they were. You're just pulling stupid shit like this. Um, he does come with a stand that's pretty neat. They're already catering to collectors because they already know, like, what can you do with this thing? I guess you can just fucking stand him up on a shelf and we'll look at him. He has this little neat action figure, but he's like, it's cheap. He's like a fucking Happy Meal toy. And for a figure that was a retail figure that you would have bought in the store, nowadays you would pay $10, $15 for something like this um, if it was brand new um, to think that that was what they were trying to get away with, what they were trying to sell. Dude, it's just fucking cheap shit. All right, and cut to 2020. And as the world burned, like the Roman Emperor Nero, Hasbro fiddled with its licenses and uh, came up with a concept for what, you know, what should have been a no fucking brainer to do the 112 scale G.I. Joes. Not unlike the Marvel Legends, but let's see how they, what they came up with. G.I. Joe Classified series. Uh, very nice. These are very nice. I'm not going to fucking lie. These are nice. This is why they were so desirable. The distribution problems aside, the scalper problems aside, the fact that Hasbro has done next to absolutely nothing to mitigate or to try to to solve that problem because they don't give a shit. They're going to sell all their figures out anyway so and you know what and these are for collectors so they don't have to you know use the excuse that like oh the kids the poor old kids can't use that excuse we know who these are for motherfucker we're all adults here so you gotta suck it up these fucking stupid scalpers are gonna be fucking us over in hasbro they're not gonna do a goddamn thing about it but Aside from all that, this is a cool looking figure, at least um, in the box. Um, he looks almost, he looks almost a dead ringer for his uh, original counterpart. And we'll take a, we'll do a comparison once we get him out 
and we'll see what he comes with and what it looks like. Um, but we're just kind of taking a look at the box here. We got some great looking artwork on the box here. Very, very nice. Um, and, you know, ask Raz Holly who the guy was that painted that. I don't fucking know. Um, you got this clear thing. Um, where it, it's very high, high-end looking, awesome boxes. It's super obvious who this is targeted toward. This is for collectors. Wonderful looking painting on the back featuring all the characters that are impossible to fucking find at retail thanks to fucking scalpers. But uh, have no fear. If you've got thousands of dollars, you can get all this shit on eBay. Anyway, um, let's not sound bitter or, or, or fucked up about it. I do love that. He's got his head there on the side. Very very fucking cool that if you were some sort of stupid booger eater that wanted to keep all these in the package forever um you could you could and they'd look nice they display nice in the box but i don't keep shit in the box we're gonna open it up and see what it looks like outside the box all right so finally here he is outside of the box it is destro and i gotta say Holy shit, what an awesome figure. Looks like what he's supposed to look like, in my opinion. Um, the head, not as chromey as I'd like it to be, but you do get a nice full uh, range of motion on there. You can up and down, left and right, it's on a ball joint. I'm not gonna go through all the different points of articulation because it should be pretty obvious. And if you've ever seen a Marvel Legends character or a, any sort of figure in the 112 scale, if you're uh, familiar with the fucking channel, um, you'll know. And you can just tell by looking at the goddamn thing. Look at all the different points of articulation that he's got. It looks great. Wow. So just right outside the box, just getting him out, fantastic right away. Very, very fucking cool. This is what you would have wanted um, from a Revival series. This is for collectors. This isn't for little kids. Little kids don't give a shit about Destro. They don't give a shit about G.I. Joe. And, and you might bring up your the fact that you're like, well, my son, my son loves G.I. Joe. I've been raising him right. Whatever, motherfucker. You, you, dude, like, just because you did that, like, what? His friends think he's fucking stupid. His friends at school, they're not into G.I. Joe. They're into... I don't even know what they're into. They're into what? The, the fucking Pokemon? <laughs> I mean, that's, that's 20, 30 years old at this point. I don't even know what it is now. Like, but Club Penguin? But anyway, the Roblox? I don't care. Anyhow, let's take a look at this Destro figure. Look at this shit. Look at this fucking, look at his little medallion is loose. You could probably pop his head off and take it off if you want to, um, but you know, why would you want to? He looks great. He looks great with it. Um, it's not molded on, it's a separate piece. Very nice little detail. Nice little details all over the figure. He even has a little post in the back of he has a backpack. This isn't a backpack, this is a briefcase um, with the Cobra uh, emblem emblazoned on the, is embossed into the, into the plastic there. Also in black, murdered out on the back. Um, very, very fucking cool. Um, does come with some guns. He comes with this gun um, that is not unlike the old school one. We'll take a look and do a comparison here in a moment. But it does. It looks like that laser with the little scope on the top. Um, we'll do. We'll do a comparison. Nice little details. Little red. Little red details on the on the gun itself. Very, very cool. And then, you know, hey, you know what? Retail. This is a twenty dollar figure, so not too fucking bad. And let's take a look inside the briefcase here. So um, just very easily. And look at what's inside. We've got some money and we've got a computer screen. Um, <laughs> it's kind of cool. It's got sort of shiny there. Uh, we've got a keyboard and you can also keep his uh, his golden pistol. And I know that these are based on <laughs> fucking Nerf guns. I guess since Hasbro owns Nerf now, um, they're, they made all the G.I. Joe guns Look like they're Nerf guns. Well, there you go. That's, uh, what was that? Is that vertical marketing? Whatever the fuck that's supposed to be called. Um, either way, it's pretty neat. I mean, if you're not like a gun guy and you're not familiar with the Nerf things, it can be overlooked. It's not the worst thing in the world. Um, it would be, you know what? Honestly, well, when it comes to these figures, these are really, really awesome. And all the great characters, and they've been pretty good. Um, at, at first, it seemed like they were kind of 
of leaning more toward uh, a more modernization, a more a reimagining of them. But I, I feel like they've gone more toward the old school. And so speaking of old school... Let's take a look at uh, old school Destro and new school Destro. Um, so right off the bat, the, the collar, the medallion, um, the, the wristbands, all very, very cool. I mean, you just look, look at the, the little red uh, holster on the side um, and, and, and even his little gun. Um, remember the little gun that, that the original Destro comes with? Um, here it is right there. Um, we'll get a better picture of that and we'll have them compared. And they do, they look very, very similar to one another um, with a little scope on the top. So I can't fault them too much for giving me the golden Nerf gun in there um, because it didn't it didn't matter if he came with one or not anyway because he came with the gun that he's supposed to come with. Um, it, it's not a backpack, but it's a briefcase. And actually, you know what I think a backpack isn't as cool as a fucking briefcase um, when it comes to that. And it's got the little computer in there. Um, no more is he carrying a bunch of guns around. He's, he's got a computer and some money um, because he is a weapons dealer. Um, and wow, it, from, from what I'm looking at here, this is really great. This is one of those things, like with the Marvel Legends, with the Power Rangers line, with that Ghostbusters line, with all these different 112 scale lines that you've got nowadays, you can line all these figures up and all of your favorite characters um, can all be in one place, in one scale, interacting with each other, standing next to each other in the same scale. Very, very fucking cool. I am super stoked about this Destro figure. I'm glad I got him at the end of the day. Is it is it worth the money at retail? Yes. Um, it wouldn't. I wouldn't want to pay more than the twenty or or twenty dollars plus shipping that this cost um, when it came out. Um, I mean, it's it's a cool figure, but it's not. You know, this isn't a fucking Super Seven Ultimates or or some shit like that. Um, but but a very cool figure at the end of the day, and I'm glad it's in my collection.